YouTube. So for Vlogmas Day 12, we're gonna do a quick and easy cinnamon roll peach cobbler. It's literally as easy as it sounds. We're gonna go ahead and make the peach syrup and then put it um, together with the cinnamon roll, y'all. It's going to be bomb. Last year and the year before I made an apple type of thing, it was really good. It came out like a streusel, which was really delicious. So now I wanna do a peach cobbler thing because I'm in the mood for peach cobbler and I don't feel like doing a whole shebang like your grandma or your auntie make it. So, don't mind my scarf, y'all. I'm in the house, I did not feel like wearing that wig. Y'all y'all already know, I keep it raw on here, okay? But if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you, boo. I really do, okay? So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video so I can edit and put it up for you guys, okay? So this is the cinnamon rolls that I'm using, Pillsbury Flaky Cinnamon Rolls Cinnabon. I wanna put this on top, I believe. This is my pan that I'm using. This is a 13 by 9 inch blue pan. I already sprayed with non-stick oil. So now what I'm going to do is open up the cinnamon rolls and place it on the bottom. So after I open my cinnamon rolls, <clears throat> the one that says Cinnabon Flaky, okay? So it can lay flat like this. I just opened up the rolls and I went ahead and laid it at the bottom. So this is going to be the bottom crust. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my peach cobbler recipe and pour it on top. Be right back. So what I did was open my can of peaches, <clears throat> which are these. Just regular old canned peaches and heavy syrup, just because I wanted it a nice peachy flavor. So I separated the peaches from the syrup and now I have it on heat. So what I'm gonna add in here is a little bit of brown sugar. All right, y'all, so right now I added about two tablespoons of dark brown sugar to my syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing that up. Use a whisk just to get it, you know, get it evenly distributed. To thicken this up a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of flaxseed. And the reason why I use flaxseed is because I don't wanna use cornstarch. I'm already doing cinnamon rolls. I'm trying to make it as less fatty as possible. So I go ahead and add my flaxseed. This doesn't add any flavor to it or anything, but it is, it has a lot of great nutritional value. It's six grams of protein per serving and fiber. So I add my flaxseed to it. Just thicken it up a bit. Cinnamon. That's brown sugar, cinnamon, and the syrup from the peaches and flaxseed. I like to add a little dash of vanilla. Or a lot of dash, whatever. Y'all know I don't measure. my peaches in there and I'm mixing it all up and now I'm gonna bring it to a high heat so everything can combine together okay so now that I let that cook all together for a little bit I added a little lemon juice and a little bit more brown sugar because it didn't taste how I wanted it to taste but now it tastes perfect I'm gonna go ahead and pour this onto these guys so now that I added the peaches on top <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take these cinnamon rolls, which is just a regular cinnamon, Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, and I'm gonna just place it right on top. So now that I got these on top, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and let this bake. So you just need two cans of cinnamon rolls. I put that one can on top, and it's going in the oven. Okay, y'all, so while it's baking, I'm literally about to eat the rest of my dinner. And um, I'm going to come on here and let y'all know. So what I did was I cut the cinnamon buns that was on top in half so I could space them out more. Because I didn't have another I didn't have another cinnamon roll container. So 
gotta make it do what it do y'all know my motto so i cut the cinnamon buttons or the cinnamon rolls in half so i can place them evenly around the um around the dish so we'll see how that comes out in about 10 minutes 